This is treating me well today. Is it? <laughs> Awkward high five. Nice shirt. Thank you. Nice, nice shirt. Hat. Nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Turn 5. Thank you again to Porsche St. Paul for giving us this beautiful 2010 Porsche 911 Carrera Coupe Sunroof PDK. Make sure you go to the link in our description if you are interested in this car to purchase it from Porsche St. Paul. They will be glad to help you. We're after a full review today. What? Here's the deal. Porsche Millennials are fast. They're fun. They're beautiful. Yep, yep. Some say sexy. And just the perfect all-around car for anybody to have. Today, we are going to answer, try to answer the age-old question as to whether a PDK can be as much fun as a manual. That's a great idea because a review video, this is really like every other 911 of that time, but the PDK is a very unique transmission and I'm excited to see what I think. Here's what you get with a PDK. You generally save between five and $10,000 over the manual. The manual obviously is more fun or biased by a manual. We're gonna show you right now whether it might be okay to buy a PDK. I, I can't believe it would ever be. Is an automatic. Well, it obviously, is objectively easy. Yeah, but is it the better transmission? I don't know if there is a better because it's Porsche. Both the transmissions, honestly, are like the best. You guys gotta tell me in the comments if I can slap him because every video I want to slap him. So here's the deal. We are gonna go, this is where it's the most fun. We're gonna go normal mode. Yep. Then we're gonna go sport mode. Then we're going to sport plus. Okay. So here's normal. So Full throttle. Okay, it, it doesn't really do it. It's very subdued. Yep. Great for in the neighborhood driving. I'm gonna roll up our windows. Probably a good call. Maybe people can hear us better. It's really windy out today. Yeah, but with the windows down, this car feels great. It does. And you get more of that exhaust noise. It is nice not to have to think about shifting. Yep. But it's also bad not to have to think of shifting. Yeah. I honestly don't get it. Okay, so normal mode is, we've been driving this car for a little while. Yeah. It's a little lackluster. I would agree. It's not anything I would have uh, expected out of Porsche. Like, so, we've driven a lot of their cars and I wouldn't have expected this. So I'm gonna go into sport mode. Yes, please. There you go. So does that fix all the problems of a tip trot or a PDK? Because this is the first ge generation of 911 with a PDK. It fixes some of them. So in sport mode, you're gonna drop your RPMs, right? Okay. So we're in third gear right now. Yep. And the computer just does things flawlessly. I mean, it is just- I mean, it perfect. is Porsche. <laughs> um, with the 2010, before we go into Sport Plus, Yep. the problem with the PDK is you don't get the flappy paddle gearbox. I mean, you get the gearbox. Yeah, you, you don't get, get the, the gearbox, but you don't- get it's, the flappy paddle. It's the thumb. It's shifter. the thumbs here. See these? You go up and down either side. It kind of takes the theatrics away from it. Yep. But now, if you go into Sport Plus, there's no way it's better than Sport Mode. Oh boy! <laughs> so you got the instant snap and... It gives you a kick. When you're just driving, it keeps that RPM way up. Sorry if it's shaky at all. The adrenaline is pumping. This thing is... Go to Porsche St. Paul. Currently we're driving at 40 miles an hour and yep. just over 4,000 RPMs. It will stay there until you get to 7,000 RPMs and then it will come back down. Well, that seems ridiculous, but kind of nice because you're always in the power band. Highlights and lowlights. Highlight is this. 
super easy to drive, sounds super well in Sport Plus. Super well. So, like every video, he can't speak because guess what it is? It's a Porsche. He is just drooling over it, all excited. Here's the bad part though. Sport Plus, you might as well get zero miles a gallon. Even just driving normally with traffic, you get about 12 to maybe 14 miles a gallon. That's fine. Sport mode is dropping it down in those... Hey, it's just like driving your Cayenne. <laughs> <laughs> True. Sport mode will get you better, normal mode even better, right? Yep. Um, so what's the, what's the conclusion? PDK, manual? You lose engagement with the PDK, but you gain the speed and it does still have a soul if you have Sport Plus, I would say. If, if you're driving in a city 90% of the time, PDK, <laughs> Sport Plus, PDK is what you do. You don't have to think about it. It's like driving a normal car, but it, you have the soul, like you said. But you only get the soul really in Sport Plus. If one of you guys doesn't buy this car and this video gets 10,000 likes, he'll buy it. Oh, I'll buy it with 5,000 likes. 5,000? I'll buy it with 1,000 likes. Okay, do it. 1,000. I'll buy it with 500 likes. He's He wants this car. 500 likes. This car is in the Turn 5 garage. Please <laughs> like the crap out of this video. I didn't know that I would like the PDK. I like the PDK. I didn't know I would like PDK at this early of a generation because we've driven the newer ones and they're really smooth, but there's always that lack of engagement. And when you have Sport Plus, it's all back. Other than you don't get the feeling of the clutch. All right, let's take them back and wrap this thing up, but I didn't think that I would love this PDK as much as I did. I love it. Not quite as much as a, as a manual, but almost equally for mo like 70% of driving that I do, I like it. Oh, well, that's neat. <laughs>